in this lecture, we are going to go through about the roles of nutritionist medical practice. In the first chapter, I'm going to talk about the vitamins. For, for the food, we do need at least seven essential ingredients, such as the dietary fiber, water, of course, protein, carbohydrate, fat, and additionally, with a low amount of vitamins or minerals. In the first part, we are going to talk about the vitamins. The history of the vitamins, the first they discovered in 1871, when they started to fad uh, on pure minerals and water, the individuals, and somehow they figured out that protein, fat, and carbohydrate alone is not going to maintain the good health. In 1880, the fine, uh, similar finding in animals, they found it that, however, if they given the milk, the milk restored to the normal lifestyle. Ekman in 1990 or 1897, they discovered a berry berry that occurred when these those who fed on polished rice. And when they given back the rice polishing, they cured them. So they hypothesized that there are some toxins in the polished rice and then antitoxins in the polishing. Gringe in 1901 tried to isolate the toxin but didn't find any. So there may be a protective substance in the rice polishing. Pokenhan, McCollin and Hopkins in 1911 collaborated the findings of lunin and the protective substance present in milk were named accessory factors. This is how they named Hopkins. Between 1911 and 1912, the isolated funk isolated the crystal substance from rice polishing that could cure polyneuritis in pigeons. Uh, how they name the vitamin? First of all, in Casimir, Funk, a Polish biochemist, who isolated an anti-berry substance for a rice polishing, and he named it as a vital amine. Or vital amine, an amine that is vital for the life. Originally, it was true these necessary compounds were all amines, so since they were vital to our health, they became known as vital amines, the, for example, the vitamins. When it was discovered that some of were not amines, it is, for example, not ions, the name was changed to vitamins. Now what are the vitamins? Basically the vitamins are micronutrients, nutritionally important organic compounds and they required in very small amounts and it cannot be synthesized by the human body. Do not undergo degradation for providing energy unlike the carbohydrate and lipids and proteins and plants and some animals synthesize vitamins. This vitamin form through biochemical life processes of the plants and animal that we eat. Examples. Most animals can synthesize vitamin C. However, human and primates, they cannot. Or no animals can synthesize vitamin B, but rumens, bacteria, do. Some function as vitamins after undergoing a chemical changes, so such as the provitamins, e.g. beta carotene to vitamin A. Now, let's talk about first the coenzymes and the cofactors and prostatic groups that you learned from biochemistry. The vitamins binds the enzyme either loosely or tightly, such as the coenzyme are lost upon dialysis because they bind to enzyme loosely. When they bind enzyme tightly, they are considered prostatic group. The term cofactor includes such compounds, but also includes other molecules such as methyl ions that may be necessary for enzyme activity. How do we classify the vitamins? We do have two major groups, such as the water-soluble vitamins that are more, much more soluble in water than in organic solvent. 
such as the CB complex, or fat-soluble vitamins that are more soluble in fat, hydrocarbons, and similar solvents than in water. Vitamins A, D, K, A. So DECA, uh, this is hard in English. First, I'm going to talk about the water-soluble vitamins. What are these vitamins? Let's see here is written the name of the vitamins and is given the recumbent dietary allowance in milligram. Thymine, riboflavin, niacin, pantonic acid, uh, pyridoxine, biotin, folic acid, cobalamin, and ascorbic acid. These are the components of the water-soluble vitamins. All of them absorbed at the small intestine and transport away from the small intestine in the blood, typically not stored, kidney filters access into urine, except vitamin B and B12. Thus, important to get those, these vitamins daily. Toxicity is almost unheard of. Vitamin B complex. Let's see the general features of the vitamin Bs. These vitamins present in all plants and animal cells generally act as a component of coenzyme in the metabolism of carbohydrate, lipids, and proteins, especially in energy-yielding reactions. Dietary requirements is closely linked to metabolic rate, so if you need more, if you work more, you need more vitamin. This vitamin absorbs passive diffusion, except vitamin B12, in a small intestine, and any excess is excreted into urine, if there is little or no tissue storage, except vitamin B12 and some of the folic acid that is stored in the red blood cells. And the B12 usually stored in the liver. Uh, must, be uh, must be continually supplied in the diet. Every day you should have a certain vitamin B supplementation. Let's see the vitamin B1 as a thymine that present in tissues and thymine uh, pyrophosphate, TPP. Thymine pyrophosphate is essential coenzyme for oxidative decarboxylation of alpha ketoacid, ketoacids, such as the pyruvate 2 acetyl coenzyme A. Deficiency is causing beriberi disease in humans, polyneuritis in birds, and break and fern poisoning in ruminants and horses. This is an anti thymine activity. This is how the thymine or thymine looks like this is a chemical structure and sometimes it's called enurine. A thymine deficiency as a beriberi, there are two forms. The dry beriberi that causes peripheral neuropathy and atrophy, and another one, the wet beriberi that causes dilatative cardiomyopathy due to peripheral dilation of the arteries. Alcohol, again, that has an important role in this situation, is called Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome. This Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome is described as the ataxia, this inability to coordinate muscle movements due to the nervous disorders, confusion, memory loss, confabulation when the patient feels the gaps in the memory by fabrication, or ophthalmoplasia can follow the light sources, or nystagmus in voluntary jerky of the eye movement, especially on the right or the left side, this very side, and alcoholic dilatative cardiomyopathy. Vitamin B2 or riboflavin is essential constituent of the flavinoprotein, called FAD. The hydrogen carrier in the glycolysis, in the triacid cycles, and the oxidative phosphorylation. Deficiency in birds called or causes occur to paralysis. Deficiency symptoms. In impotence, loss of appetite, poor growth, vomiting, skin eruption, and eye abnormalities in pigs, chylosis, angular stomatitis, fissures at an angle of the mouth, localized uh, seborrheic dermatitis of the face, or vascular changes in the cornea, purpose smooth tongue due to loss of tongue papillae, glossitis, or poor growth and cur2 paralysis in chicken, 
the two frequently curl inward and they may be unable to stand this kind of birds. B3 deniacin. This amine derivates from the nicotinic acid can be synthesized from tryptophan, essential constituent of the NAD and an NADP. These are the hydrogen carrier catalyzed by dehydrogenase enzyme for the ATP synthesis. Deficiency causes pellagra in farms, animals, and humans. Fiery inflammation of tongue, mouth, and upper esophagus can be found in the deficiency of niacin. Such as the deficiency in some, for example, pellagra in farm animals and humans that I mentioned before, the fiery inflammation of the tongue, mouth, and upper esophagus occurs in people who subsist mainly on corn, which is low in both niacin and tryptophan. The sign of pellagra induced dermatitis, diarrhea, and dementia. The three Ds and loss of tongue papillae. Source of B3 include most non-corn-based diets contain adequate amounts of nicotinamide and nicotinamide or its precursor, the tryptophan. This can you see that skin manifestation of the pellagra. Vitamin B5 is a pantothenic acid. That's a peptide derivates from the B alanine and butyric acid derivates, essential constituent of the coenzyme A to the SEO transfer for the SEO transfer. The coenzyme A is essential for the formation of the energy as ATP from carbohydrate, protein, alcohol, and fat. Coenzyme A is also important in the synthesis of fatty acids, cholesterol, steroids, and the neurotransmitter acetylcholine which is essential for the transmission of nerve impulse to the muscle. In deficiency, the headache, fatigue, impaired muscle coordination, abdominal cramps and vomiting, and dermatitis and acne can be the clinical symptoms and sign. How can we get it? The source widely distributed in plants, especially the legumes and cereal, and animal products as well. Here you can see the dermatitis on the pictures of the face. B6 or uh, pyridoxine. This is the amino acid. It has an important role in amino acid metabolism in the transamination reaction required for the synthesis and the catabolism of the amino acids. Decarboxylation reaction. Breakdown of the glycogen or the glyconeolysis cofactor for glycogen phosphorase. 80-90% of the body vitamin B is present in the muscle. Most of it as coenzyme form bound to glycogen phosphorylase. Only one micromole or less is present in the blood. Synthesis or epinephrine, adrenaline, or norepinephrine, such as a noradrenaline, is important. Synthesis of niacin, vitamin B3, uh, from the amino acid tryptophan is also needed vitamin B6. Uh, source. Bananas, beans, lentils, walnuts, salmon, chicken, beef, whole grain, bread, and cereal, soybeans, liver, eggs, dairy product. They are excellent source of the vitamin B6. What do we need? How much? The requirement for the vitamin B is a diet proportional to the level of the protein constitution ranging from 1.4 to 2 mg per day for a normal adult. During pregnancy and lactation, the requirement for vitamin B6 increases approximately by about 0.6 mg per day. Toxicity. Megadoses of B6, daily dose about bigger than 500 mg, are used to treat, for example, the postmenstrual syndromes. They can cause neurotoxicity and photosensitivity in some individuals. Deficiency of the B12, vitamin B6, is rare and usually are related to an overall deficiency of the all uh, B-complex vitamins. Certain drugs form complex with it, such as the penicillamine, used to treat rheumatoid arthritis and cystinuria, isoniacid, there's a hydrozyne derivates of the isonicotic acid, is a primary drug for the chemotherapy for tuberculosis. Vitamin B cells is a biotin they are functioning as a coenzyme involving the carbon dioxide transfer. 
acetylcoenzyme A to the melonylcoenzyme A, the propionylcoenzyme A to the methylmalonylcoenzyme A, pyrrhate to oxalacetate. The source, for example, a very rich one, the yeast, rice, soybean, peanuts, fish, herring, and mackerel, mushrooms, bananas, sunflower so meals, liver, milk, are very rich source for the biotin. Deficiency very rare because of widespread distribution in plants, the fatty liver and kidney syndrome can develop. The raw ag white avidin uh, can block absorption of biotin. The yolk of the ag is very rich of biotin, one of the highest concentration in the nature, Eat the whole together with the egg white and you feel be fine. Egg white contains glycoprotein called the avidine, avidin, which binds biotin very effectively. The cooking process deactivates the avidin, the egg, much the same way in deactivated. Every other protein in the egg white. If this is look how the baby looks like, when develop severe biotin deficiency during intravenous feeding without biotin addition. The vitamin B9, or is called the folic acid. Folic acid is obtained primary from yeast and leafy vegetables, as well as animal liver. Animal cannot synthesize PABA, nor attach glutamate residue to the pteroic acid, thus requiring folate intake in diet. Microorganisms only can synthesize folacin and sulfonamides and antibiotics block the PABA incorporation by competing the in competitive inhibition. Let's see the effect of this folate. Uh, active function form is the tetrahydrofolate. The folate that is going to be hydroxylated, the dehydrofolate and tetrahydrofolate. Humans and microorganisms, the folic acid is reduced within the cells and principally in the liver where it is stored and the tetrahydrofolate is through the action of the folate reductase which is an NADPH requiring enzyme is the scheme. The precipitation of the tetrahydrofolate in the synthesis of the deoxytimidine monophosphate. As you see, there's a one carbomoiety transfer, and this is how they made the uridyl monophosphate to the timidine monophosphate. So it's important in the DNA synthesis. Deficiency symptoms of the uh, folic acid. The deficiency can occur when there is poor dietary habits as those of chronic alcoholic patient. Impaired absorption or metabolism, certain drugs such as anticonvulsant and oral contraceptives and methotrexate can impair the absorption of the folate. An increased uh, demand for the vitamin during pregnancy, folate is near, nearly double by the third trimester of pregnancy identical to those for vitamin B12 deficiency. So effect of folate deficiency on the cellular processes upon the DNA synthesis, as we mentioned before, we do have an imp impaired time in monophosphate synthesis and the purine synthesis. The cell cycle arrests in an S phase and rapidly proliferating cells, especially the hemopoietic cells, be affected mostly. The inability of the synthesis of DNA during erythrocyte maturation leads to abnormally large erythrocytes that term as a peripheral diagnosis as a macrocytic anemia, but is a megaloblastic anemia because in the bone marrow, the early precursors in the number increases and those be bigger one with a very light nucleoli. So those are the megaloblast because and they do have a problem the DNA synthesis and they do have an increased ineffective erythropoiesis. So during the process of the erythropoiesis, the cells is going to die in apoptosis. Deficiency during pregnancy can cause 
neural tube defects such as a spina bifida that you can see in the picture right now. B12 or cobalamin, that's also uh, its important vitamin. Vitamin B12 is synthesized exclusively by the microorganism and not by animals and is found in the liver and animals found to protein as methylcobalamin nor 5 deoxydeazonylcobalamin The vitamin must be hydrolyzed from protein in order to be active. Intrinsic factor is needed for the absorption and this protein is synthesized by the parietal cells of the stomach and it carries into the ileum where it is absorbed together with the B12. Its absorb is transported to the liver and then other tissues in the blood bond the transcobalin 2. It is stored in the liver attached to the transcobalin 1. It is released into the cells as hydroxycobalamin and in the cytosol is converted to the methylcobalamin. The function. The function, uh, two reactions in the body is required, vitamin B12 is a cofactor. During the catabolism of the fatty acid with an odd number of the carbon atoms and other amino acids, uh, valine, isoleucine and treonine, resultant propionyl coenzyme A is converted to succinyl coenzyme A for oxidation in the triacyl acid cycle. The methylmalonic coenzyme A mutase requires vitamin B12 as a cofactor in the conversion of the methylmalonic coenzyme A to succinyl coenzyme A. A 5 deoxyadenosine derivate of the cobalamin is required for this reaction. The second reaction catalyzed by methionine synthase converts the homocysteine to methionine. This reaction results in a transfer of the methyl group from the N5 methyl tetrahydrofolate to the hydrocobalamin generating the tetrahydrofolate and methylcobalamin during the process of the conversion. So it's going to reactivate the folate cycle. So the B12 is helping to retain the folate inside the cells plus it's going to act or let's it form the activation of the tetrahydromethyl folate. Deficient symptoms include pernicious anemia in human. When we do have an inability of the absorbed B12 because mostly is lack of the gastric intrinsic factor, that's an autoimmune disorder so when the autoantibodies uh, against the parietal cells is blocking or killing the cells and making, let's see, the intrinsic factor deficiency, or they bind the intrinsic factor directly and blunts the intrinsic factor. It doesn't let the B12 to bind to the intrinsic factor. Another very important sign is the neurological disorders due to the progressive demyelination of the nerve cells. This results from the increase of methylmalonic coenzyme A, and methylmalonic coenzyme A is a competitive inhibitor of the melanin coenzyme A in fat acid, fatty acid biosynthesis. It can substitute melanin coenzyme A in any fatty acid biosynthesis and create branch chain fatty acid, altering the architecture of the normal membrane structure of the nerve cells. So this is why the neuropathy is going to develop. The source of B12 is synthesized only, as we mentioned, the microorganisms. So traces only are present in the plant liver in the rich sources. B12 is found in organ and the muscle meat, fish, shellfish, dairy products, eggs, and in fortified foods like uh, breast uh, bre breakfast cereals, for example. Vitamin C. Vitamin C is an L-ascorbic acid, which is a colorless crystal acid with strong reducing uh, properties. This enzyme is absent in primates, including human and some bats. Function as an antioxidant property similar to those of vitamin E that protects the cells from free radicals, protects iron from oxidative damage, thus enhancing iron, so the ferro absorption in the gut. The main function is as the reducing agent. It has the potential to reduce cytochrome and A and C of the respiratory chain 
and molecular oxygen and nitrates. It is required for various hydroxylation reaction, e.g. proline and hydroxyproline for collagen synthesis and bone formation. See the next slide. Uh, several other metabolic reactions require, such as the catabolism of the tyrosine and synthesis of epinephrine for the uh, tyrosine and synthesis of the bile acid. It's also believed that vitamin C is involved in the process of styrogenesis. The adrenal cortex contains high level of vitamin C, which are depend, depleted upon adrenal cortic hormone stimulation of the gland. Growth in the body. The source of vitamin C mainly is citrus fruits and green leaves and vegetables. Vitamin C is readily absorbed, and so the primary cause of vitamin C deficiency is pure diet and or an increased requirement. The deficiency of vitamin C is called the scurvy that caused bleeding gums, small red spots on the skin, through skin, wound failed to heal, weak bones and teeth, anemia and infection. This some of this is correlated with the antioxidant capability and some other with the collagen synthesis. Stress, for example, infection and smoking, but still can somehow connect it to the C vitamin requirement during the stress situation. Come on, for example, in cold, this is why they are taking, for example, a lot of vitamin C during cold or disease prevention, such as a cancer or heart diseases. They applying the vitamin C, possibly due to the antioxidant capability of these vitamins. Vitamin B11, that's called L-carnitin. L-carnitin is made in the body from the amino acids, the lysine to methionine. Is needed to release energy from fat. It transports fatty acid into the mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cells. In infancy and in situation of high energy needs, such as a pregnancy and breastfeeding, the need of L-carnitine can be exceed production by the body. Therefore, L-carnitine is considered as a conditionally essential nutrient. L-carnitine action appears to be particularly important in the heart. As an example, patients with diabetes and high blood pressure were given 4 grams of L-carnitine per day in a preliminary study. After 45 weeks, irregular heartbeats and abnormal heart function decreased significantly compared with non-supplemented patients. Let's start to discuss the fat-soluble vitamin that more soluble in fat and hydrocarbons, such as the DACA, D-A-K-A or A-D-K-A. Fat soluble vitamin and the requirement daily, the retinol, vitamin A, calciferol, vitamin D, tocopherol, vitamin E, and vitamin K as a phylloquinone. Absorption with the dietary fat in the small intestine, so we do need bile and lipase for the normal absorption. The absorption efficacy is about 40 to 90% and is transported away from the small intestine in the lipopotent, it's called chylomicron, in the lymph and in the, via the blood. Vitamin A is an active vitamin A or preform vitamin A can be obtained either directly from the fruit, uh, foods such as the beef liver, fish liver, oil, egg yolk or butter. Much of the body's vitamin A is stored in the liver as a retinic palmitate. Provitamin A is a provitamin substances that are transformed into vitamins in the body, such as a beta carotene in the most abundant widespread provitamin A. One need to eat approximately six times as much beta carotene to get the same amount of vitamin A as in retinol. Dark green leaf vegetables, spinach and yellow orange fruit uh, apricots and mango and vegetables such as a carrot, yellow or squash or sweet potatoes are highly in beta carotene and other carotenes of alpha and beta, cryptoxanthine, etc.
Uh, carotenoids are not toxic even at a high dose for long times, but it could cause pseudo jandos when they do have a yellowish skin discoloration. The biological functions of the vitamin A is connected to the vision as an essential precursor for the formation of the visual pigment, the rhodopsin, in the retina of the eye. Retina plays an important role in vision, especially night vision, and lowers cataract incidence. Rolling growth helps regulate the cell development, cell differentiation, and cell divisions. And the bone and teeth formation promotes the proper growth of bone and teeth. Bone cells, such as osteoblast and osteoclast, depends on vitamin A for their normal functioning and is important in the formation of maintenance of health hair, skin and mucous membrane. A role in reproduction is holds an important place in sexual reproduction. Adequate level of vitamin A are needed for a normal sperm production. The female reproductive cycle requires sufficient amount of vitamin A also. Boost the body's immune system, helping to increase body resistance to infectious diseases. The problem associated with vitamin A deficiencies, such as a night blindness, less than the ability to see in the dim light, increase the susceptibility to infection and cancer anemia, equivalent to iron deficiency, prolonged lack of vitamin A such as a keratinization of the cornea, a condition known as a xerophthalmia, abnormal bone development in the fetal and the neonatal life, skeletal malformation, spontaneous fractures, internal hemorrhage, loss of appetite, slow growth, or weight loss. If you have too much, the symptoms include dry, uh, pruritic skin with excessive itching and increase in intracranial pressure. It's become an increasing problem in the Western countries because of the cell medication and overprescription. Has occurred through eating polar beer or seal liver by popular uh, polar explorers. Eat polar beer's liver, the sp uh, spargly 30 grams contains about 140,000 units of retinol. Continued ingestion causes peeling of the skin from the head to foot. It is possible that some early Arctic exposure died from eating their sled ducks in an attempt to survive. Vitamin D is a family of D1 to D5, is a fat soluble sterol compound. For humans, the two most important forms of vitamin D are vitamin D2 and vitamin D3. Vitamin D2 is an ergocalciferol, is dried from the plants and irradiated yeast and fungi. Vitamin D3 is synthesized in the body when the skin is exposed to the sunlight. Cholesterol plus sunlight make the vitamin D3. Sunshine vitamin, this is how they call it, the UVB rays. 5 to 10 minutes, arms and legs, uh, midday sun is enough the daily intake for the vitamin D3. Vitamin D3 can be obtained from the foods like milk, uh, fortified cereals, tuna, salmon, and fish oils. Activation of the vitamin, the active vitamin formation. The vitamin D2 and vitamin D3 are biologically inactive but can have equal biological activity. Both can be converted first to calciferodiol in the liver and then to calcitriol, also those as a 125 dehydroxychloracalciferol in the kidney. Calcitriol, which is the most active form of vitamin D3, is then transported via the carrier protein to the various sites in the body where it is needed. So if we do have a liver, the 25 hydroxylase enzyme, and one hydroxylase in the kidney, and finally the kidney does the 125 hydroxy uh, choleric acid furrow, that's the more, most active form. Functions of vitamin D regulates the calcium and phosphor levels in the blood by promoting their absorption from the food in the intestine 
and by promoting the reabsorption of the calcium in the kidney. It promotes bone formation and mineralization and is essential to development of an intact and strong skeletal. It inhibits parathyroid hormone secretion from the parathyroid gland. Vitamin B FD affect the immune system by promoting immunosuppression, phagocytosis, and anti-tumor activity. This is important to take the normal daily intake of vitamin D. And lately, they figured out that we do have an inappropriate intake of vitamin D, especially in cities. And this is why the supplementation, daily supplementation, that about, especially in the winter time, when there are not too many sunny days, you should take about 2,500 units per day. What will happen when we do have less vitamin D, especially happening in northern latitude, that leads to vitamin D deficiency? In children, due to the bone deformities and rickets, the less bone incorporation and the softening because there is not enough mineral in the bone, this is the rickets. Or in adult one, osteomalacia, when we do have weak bones, demyelination of the bone. Or osteoporosis, when the total amount of bone decreases. Or demineralization of the bone that can happen in adult one. If we do have too much, at least five times more than a RDA that chronically happening is the most toxic vitamin causes nausea, thirst, loss of appetite, stupor, and hypercalcemia and calcification of soft tissues, the position of soft tissues and arteries and the kidneys. A disease caused by deficiency and malnutrition may also be linked to an increased susceptibility to several chronic diseases such as the high blood pressure, chronic pain tuberculosis, cancer, periodontal diseases, multiple sclerosis, depressions, schizophrenia, or severe autoimmune diseases. The American Pediatric Association advised vitamin D supplementation of 200 units per day uh, from birth and onward. Liquid drops of vitamin D for, for infants in infants. Vitamin E this is a family of eight different molecules. Four of the eight vitamin E molecules are called tocopherols, alpha, beta, gamma, delta. These are the natural tocopherols, while the remaining four are called tocopherol trios and alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. And the alpha tocopherol is the most biologically active vitamin in human. The vitamin DE function is the form of the D-alpha tocopherol, is an important fat soluble antioxidant, scavenging oxygen free radicals, lipid peroxide radicals, and single oxygen molecules. Before uh, these radicals can do harm of the cells. New studies have revealed that the tocotrienol forms a vitamin E are even more potent antioxidant than the tocopherol isomers. Vitamin E helps maintaining the structural integrity of the cell's membrane throughout the body. The function of the alpha tocopherol has been shown to inhibit platelet aggregation. Alpha tocopherol protects the fat component in the low density lipoproteins from oxidation and has shown moderate cholesterol lowering capability. Gamma and delta tocopherols may inhibit the cholesterol synthesis and have greater cholesterol lowering effect than alpha tocopherol. Source of vitamin E is present in animal fat, meat, green vegetables, nuts and seeds. Alpha tocopherol is found in the number of vegetable oils. It's also found in wheat germ soybean and corn oil containing mainly gamma tocopherol. Storage of the vitamin E is limited. Vitamin E is stored in high amounts in the pituitary glands and the adrenals. The symptoms of vitamin E deficiency can be the muscle weakness, lethargy, apathy, lack of vitality, indigestion, muscle cramps, inability to concentrate, irritability, distress in physical activity, red blood cells, breakage, ribolysis, anemia, neurological problems. Inadequate antioxidant uh, ability could either predispose to the host to the disease 
or modify the progression of the pre-existing diseases. Vitamin K and uh, vitamin K comes from the German word coagulation, which refers to the blood clotting coagulation. Vitamin K is essential for the functioning of several protein involved in the normal blood clotting. There are several forms of vitamin K from K1 to K7. K1 or philoquinone as a naturally occurring vitamin K is absorbed from the intestine only in the presence of bile salt and other lipids through interaction with the chylomicron. Therefore, fat malabsorption diseases can result in vitamin K deficiency. The presence in the green leaf vegetables like lettuce, parsley, spinach, spinach and various greens, beets and mustard, broccoli and certain vegetables, oil, soybean, cotton seeds and olive. K2 or menaquinone is synthesized by the intestinal bacteria. K2, which is the most biologically active form of vitamin K, is found in egg yolk, butter, liver, cheddar, cheese, and yogurt. It has been suggested that products like yogurt may help to increase the functioning of these useful bacteria. K3 or menadion. The synthetic man-made vitamin K3 is a water-soluble and absorbed irrespectively of the presence of the intestine lipids and bile. Essential cofactor in the blood clotting. Dangerous if taking anticoagulant, hemolytic anemia and jaundice infants can develop and be acquired in excess. Function, as we said, the blood coagulation. They made a post-transcriptional carboxylation of some glutamate residue in the blood, uh, blood factors. Vitamin K is needed for the body to activate four coagulation factors for the gamma carboxylation, factor 2, 7, 9, and 10. Calcium binding protein, the carboxylation of specific glutamate residue in the calcium binding proteins, role in oxidative phosphorylation. What caused the deficiency? Basically, most commonly, the prolonged use is antibiotics. The malabsorption or the dysbacteriosis is a very common cause of the deficiency of vitamin K. Or by duct obstruction. Spoiled sweet cloth hay contains dicumarol or vitamin K antagonist. This is a flower. Short circuit of the bowel. Immediate postnatal infants because the intestine flora is not developed, and this is well, from the mother, they do have enough vitamin K. However, after delivery, there is no bacterial flora, so there is no vitamin K absorption, and especially if the uh, baby has uh, protein C or protein S deficiency, they can have bleeding and bruising very easily. Uh, another is the mother meal contains very low vitamin K, and plus it has to seed, let's see, the flora, the bacterial flora to the uh, fetus or for the new infant. Hemorrhage diathesis is the newborn can happen very easily. What will happen if we eat too much broccoli? It was a story about the two women with disease characterized by the abnormal blood clotting did not improve when they were given warfarin. When questioned about their diet, one woman reported that she ate at least a pound of broccoli every day, and the other ate broccoli soup and broccoli salad every day. When broccoli was removed from their diet, warfarin became effective and preventing the abnormal clotting of their blood. Because broccoli is high in vitamin K, this patient had been getting enough dietary vitamin K to compete with the drug, thereby making the drug ineffective. So, Brachty lies you. Thank you.